Moose Lake is a long, medium width lake that is wider at its inlet and the farther you move down toward the outlet, the thinner it gets. It is 11.7 km long and 1.9 km wide at its widest point which is near its inlet. At its east end, the Fraser flows into the lake after flowing through a marsh. The river exits the lake at its west end. The Yellowhead Highway and the Canadian National Railway, via Rails Canadian and Jasper Prince Rupert trains also use the CN tracks, follow the North Lake Shore closely. Mount Thompson Provincial Park is a provincial park in the Canadian Rockies with an area of 2,249 square kilometers. The park is located entirely within British Columbia, bordering Jasper National Park in Alberta. The BC Legislature created the park in 1913, the same year as the first ascent of Mount Robson by a party led by Conrad Kane. It is the second oldest park in the provincial system. The park is named for Mount Robson which has the highest point in the Canadian Rockies and is located entirely within the park. The first recreational trail was built in 1913 by Jasper outfitter Donald Curley Phillips along the Robson River to Berg Lake. From May to September, the Mount Robson Visitor Information Center is open to the public, and is a common stop on the Yellowhead Highway. The only commercial services within the park are at a combination coffee shop gas station complex at the same viewpoint. There are two government campgrounds near the visitor center and one near Yellowhead Pass. The park spans the Yellowhead Highway and is located 390 km west of Edmonton or 290 km east of Prince George. The source of the Fraser River is in Mount Tropson Provincial Park. A dripping spring just west of a pond at Fraser Pass is the actual source of British Columbia's longest river. It is located 40 kilometers, 25 miles, south of the Yellowhead Highway at Lucerne Campground. There are no trails there and the best access is by helicopter from Vail Mount. In 1990 Mount Tropson Park was included within the Canadian Rocky Mountain Park's UNESCO World Heritage Site. 3. Together with the other national and provincial parks that comprise the Canadian Rocky Mountain Parks, the park was recognized for its natural beauty and the geological and ecological significance of its mountain landscapes containing the habitats of rare and endangered species, mountain peaks, glaciers, lakes, waterfalls, canyons, limestone caves and fossils. Mount Robson Provincial Park, the second oldest park in British Columbia's park system, is truly one of the world's crown jewels. The mountain for which the park is named guards the park's western entrance. At 3,954 meters, Mount Robson, the highest peak in the Canadian Rockies, towers over the lesser surrounding peaks, winter and summer. This is one of the finest views in the Rocky Mountains. Just as the early trappers, hunters and explorers felt in awe at the mountain's magnificence, travelers today experience the same feelings. With Alberta's Jasper National Park as its easterly neighbor, Mount Robson Provincial Park comprises a portion of one of the world's largest blocks of protected areas. Designated as a part of the Canadian Rocky Mountains World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1990, Mount Robson provides everything from developed, vehicle-accessible camping to remote valleys that seldom see a human footprint. Mount Robson Provincial Park also protects the headwaters of the Fraser River. From its pristine alpine source, the Fraser River gains strength and size to match any of the world's major rivers. Future generations will surely appreciate the protection of this great river's source within Mount Robson Park. Flora and fauna are typical of the western slope of the Rocky Mountains, North Continental Range. One is able, on some trails, to travel between three different vegetation zones during a day hike. 
Over 182 species of birds have been documented in the park. All wildlife indigenous in the Rocky Mountain can be found here. Mule and white-tailed deer, moose, elk and black bear call the lower elevation home while grizzly bear, caribou, mountain goat and mountain sheep inhabit the higher elevations. With over 217,000 hectares of mostly undisturbed wilderness available, wildlife populations are allowed to ebb and flow with minimal intervention by humans. There are excellent wildlife viewing opportunities throughout the park. From mountain goats on the many cliffs and rock slides to moose in Moose Marsh, the patient observer will be suitably rewarded. First attempted in 1907, it was not until 1913 that humans finally stood on the summit of Mount Robson. On that clear, cold day guide Conrad Gain, W. W. Foster and A. H. McCarthy beheld a view no person had ever seen before. For 20 years, the Mountain Legacy Project, MLP, based today in the School of Environmental Studies at the University of Victoria, has been using repeat photography to examine, analyze, and understand landscape level change in the Canadian Mountain West. Mount Robson Provincial Park, with over 3 km of elevation change from the valley of the Fraser River, approximately 800 meters, to the summit of Mount Robson, 3,954 meters, and four biogeoclimatic zones, represents a series of interconnected complex mountain ecosystems perfect for landscape level analysis. This park, with an area of roughly 2,250 square kilometers, may appear imperishable, but change is evident. Using reference photographs taken in 1911 by Arthur Wheeler, MLP teams went out in the field 100 years later to retake the images from exactly the same locations. A selected group of image pairs were further segmented into land cover classifications and analyzed for change. The results, including some interesting interactive change visualizations, are available at the Visualizing 100 Years of Landscape Change website. This work was completed in part through funding provided through the BC Parks Living Lab for Climate Change and Conservation Programme.